Oh, it's about 1.37 Ether. So basically it took me about a day to gain my deposit by more than a third. Hello everyone, and in this YouTube video tutorial, I'll be explaining to you an easy method to make passive income using Uniswap. Have you ever made a transaction in Uniswap where you forgot to decrease the slippage? If so, you may have received fewer tokens than you were expecting. This is because your transaction has been front run by a bot who takes advantage of the slippage. So basically in this video, we'll be talking about how to build a smart contract bot who does the same. My smart contract bot, which I'll call a front running bot, will allow us to automatically trade a given token for the Ethereum blockchain on Uniswap and OneInch without having to go through the typical transaction methods. This is going to allow us to sniff the pending transactions that are not yet mined on the mempool, and then it's going to allow us to inject our transaction with a higher gas fee than the transaction which is entered. Now this will allow our transaction to be processed first, and then we'll also send a sell order within the same block. So basically, the victim's transaction gets sandwiched between ours and we make a profit from the slippage difference in the transaction. Let me explain more of what front running is with an example. Let's say that Alice wants to exchange $1,000 worth of ethers for uni token. And let's suppose that the uni price is $5 at the moment of the transaction. So if we do a simple calculation, Alice will receive 200 units of the uni token, but as the price of a token may increase, Uniswap requires users to set slippage, which means the percentage of an eventual price increase that you accept for the transaction to go through. Now in this example, if Alice set slippage to 10%, which means that she agrees to pay up to 5.5 per unit token, that's about 181 tokens for $1,000. So when Alice submits the transaction using MetaMask, the scenario will be like this. Our bot will spot Alice's transaction and buy uni token at the price of $5 and increase the price, so Alice will buy higher. Alice will buy 181 units of uni token at a price of 5.5. So our bot will sell all the tokens bought on the first transaction and then keep the profit, which is in the example, it's about $91 minus gas fees. All of that in the same block. So to start off, you'll need to have MetaMask installed and connected to the Ethereum mainnet. If you don't have MetaMask installed, you can find a link in the description on how to install it. To deploy our contract, go to Remix Ethereum Compiler. Remix is a web application that allows us to develop, deploy, compile, and launch smart contracts coded in the Solidity language. Now you'll find the link to the Remix website in the description below. Now head over to the left sidebar and create a new file named bot.sol. Now if you look at the description, I've included a link to this code. You need to copy and paste that code. This is our front runner bot contract that we're going to deploy. A couple of things to look at after pasting the code are line 55 and 56. If you check the addresses on Etherscan, you'll see that these are the addresses of wrapped Ether tokens. Okay, so you can see it's the official wrapped Ether address. It's always a good idea to check that. Now back to Remix. Now that our bot file is ready, let's compile it. On the side menu, click Solidity Compiler. Now as you can see, the contract is built for the 0.6.6 version of Solidity. Under Compiler, select the version 0.6.6 so it'll match our contract. Now click on Compile Bot.Sol and wait for the bot to compile. So now we deploy this to our wallet. Head on over to Deploy and Run Transactions on Remix. Under the environment, select Injected Web 3 to connect Remix to our MetaMask. Finally, make sure Uniswap Bot, bot.sol, is selected under Contract. Now the deployment utility is ready. Click the Deploy button to publish our contract to the Ethereum blockchain. We need to confirm the creation of our contract by paying some gas fees. I always set gas fees to high so it'll speed up the transaction, so it's not a lot of difference, but click confirm and wait for the transaction to be mined. Transaction confirmed. Now our contract is deployed. So as you can see here, there are four actions for a contract. The start button will start the bot, sniffing the mempool. Withdrawal will stop the bot and transfer funds back to your wallet. Owner which returns the owner of the contract, and stop will stop the bot from sniffing the mempool. So let's copy the contract address and make sure it was created. 
head back to Etherscan and paste it. Okay, it says it was successfully created. So the next step is to fund our contract with some ethers to be able to snipe liquidity pools. I'm gonna copy this address and head back over to my MetaMask. Now make sure you've copied the right address. You can fund the contract with whatever amount you want, but obviously the more you put in, the larger the transaction you'll be able to front run and the more profit you'll be able to accumulate over time. So for instance, say you're only front running with 0.5 ethers. You won't be able to create as much slippage in the price as if you were inserting something like 10 ethers. Sweet, there we go. Okay, so transaction confirmed and the contract is funded. We can check that by following our contract address on etherscan.io. As you can see, our contract has one Ethereum on its balance, which is basically the amount we funded it with. The last step is to click Start. Now this will enable the bot to start sniffing the mempool to find different liquidity pairs in order for you to front run the transactions. I'll see you guys in a couple hours. Well guys, I want to share the profit the bot made for me. So I have something around 1.17 Ether, which is around 17%. You can see the transaction that our bot made the internal transactions tab. As you can see here are the front run transactions that our bot made over the 10 hours. There are a total of seven transactions. Now if we calculate the sum profit minus gas fees, we get exactly 0.17 Ethereum. So I'll see you in 10 hours. All right guys, let's see how much more we made. Oh, it's about 1.37 Ether. So basically it took me about a day to gain my deposit by more than a third, something close to 40%, which isn't that bad. So the bot will continue to run until you press the withdrawal button. The bot will then exit the liquidity pool and will return back to your wallet. The ethers you entered initially plus the profit. So let's click it. This will charge us a little bit of gas. I'll set it to high again, and then we click confirm. There we go, the transaction's confirmed. So let's go to our MetaMask to check and see what I've got now. As you can see, the balance from the bot is now in my wallet. I've had some weeks where I've made five to six ethers. Sometimes it's not always profitable and profits fluctuate week to week, but usually I make two plus Ethereum a week. So guys, share your profits in the comments below. Hit the like button if you found this video valuable and don't forget to subscribe so that you can stay updated.